People of all sizes, large and little, ladies and gentlemen, and folks somewhere in the middle, welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my loving sister, Ice Ice Bobby. Hi, everybody. And uh, Mr. President is actually down for a nap because he makes recording a little bit difficult sometimes. And we're back with the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, you know, they say you should dance with the one what brought you. And Bubby Dumb brought me for, through most of this game. <laughs> so I figured instead of just half-assing this with my wife, we could uh, find some time to do this together. Uh, this probably won't come out for a good long while because I do want to have the whole epilogue recorded before we start doing that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You, When you guys see it, it should be like smooth. You hear that, folks? I'm better than Mistress. Not true. Just kidding. No, it's just a type of game. Like... I will say, last time we recorded, I absolutely didn't want to look at Red Dead ever again because I was tired. It was like 1.30. We were just sleepy. Yeah, we like really went on for a long time. Yeah, and I didn't realize how big the epilogue was going to be. I think now knowing what we're in for, I'm more okay. Also, I am officially on break for the next three weeks um, and did, in fact, successfully pass my first semester of PA school. against Yay, yay against uh, many, many odds. Um, <laughs> so... How do you get out of this area? I don't know. This is this is actually three quests. It's getting out of here. Um, no, so I think I'm now I'm okay with it. So I'm just like Sush is right. In the mix. Uh, he is dancing with the one who brought him, which is I, Bubby, controller of the Bubbyless Rift. There you go. I don't think we ever established that. No. <laughs> in Sushimi's and, house canon. And we won't. No, I'm just okay. kidding. I'm just kidding. Go for it. <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember why I started calling you Bubby. I just thought it was, like, a cute nickname. Yeah, you guys uh, Which, granted, it specifically gets used a lot by, like, Jewish folk referring to their grandmother. I mean, I... And you are not my grandmother, nor am I Jewish. Yeah, but I'm... But I just... I enjoy Bubby. Yeah, no, I know. It's a cute nickname. And you guys would think I would have had it for, like... Like, I mean, at this point, it has been years, but it's been, like, what? Four years? Like not that long in the, in the it's term been of a minute. in terms of our like lifespan kind of thing. Um, sorry, I heard some steps and I thought little baby man had escaped from his cage nap nap cage. That would be some. <laughs> so I was like, um, oh god, oh god, he came out anyway. Um, but yeah, so I am okay with seeing how things continue to be, even though I had to come to terms with that that. Arthur is dead, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's rough. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we, we definitely took a break from this, because it was just like, man... Yeah, plus like once, like last time Sush and I recorded was the last time I had like a break, because after that, I had two... Cl- uh, it actually hasn't been that long, I don't think. It's, it's, been, like, it's been like two or three weeks. Yeah, it's like it's been like three weeks... So I was on break a little bit after I last recorded, but I spent most of that break studying because the following week I went right back into classes and had an exam, and then the week after that I had all my finals. So it was like two exams, two days in a row, and then my like practical exam, which is like showing my technique to my professors on how I would work with patients kind of crap, and then the last day was like my big boy exam of 117 questions, Yeah, which was... It actually wasn't too terribly hard. It was just damn. long, so it made me sleepy. Abigail's looking bad as hell. Yeah, damn. It's a wonder they don't have two more kids. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, especially in this time. Oh, yeah, it's true. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. They were stealing our wagon. Yeah. We were just gonna be broke and wagonless. Yeah. And they probably wouldn't have offered us this job. Exactly. Yeah, so be a little... Like, while I get, hey, don't kill, be a little more thankful, Abigail, because now we have a nice place to stay and, like... Yeah, we work. also didn't kill, so... Oh, right. Yeah, it's even worse. What do you mean, girl? What are you fussing for? I understood her fuss earlier. Don't fuss right now. Yeah, her and John are actually looking better now. Like, they both look younger and better. And I know it's like time has passed, but, like... I think John Lo just looks more cleaned up. Yeah. So, it just That's makes all. more sense. Sorry, I received an alert on my phone, and I looked, and it's simply or my garage. So, our parents are oot in a boot. That's, that makes sense. I'm just basically I'm just being nosy, you guys. <laughs> That's the main thing. Um, 
But yeah, I come to you a free bubby for the next little while. So there should be a little more frequent recordings, I think, which will be nice. Um, what? I think she's laying down. It's just, yeah, okay. It's just a cow with its little feet tucked in. Yeah. And the pattern's a little funky on it. It's, a, I, it's a cow, though. I, so I had been, like, transported into Fallout for a second there. I was like, what is happening? No, in Fallout, I would have two heads. I know, but it just, like, looked weird. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I have no reason to be yawning. It is not late. <laughs> for once, we're not doing a late recording. That's true. It is actually, like, 1 o'clock. Yeah. P.M. And I woke up not crazy early for once. Yeah, like, my body's adjusted to be on a schedule where I get up at, like, 5 a.m., 5.30. Yeah, that's upsetting. Yeah, it, it's bad. I wish you wouldn't tell me these things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but now, like, today I slept until 9, so which is nice. Yeah. God, these walking... This is why this game is taking so long, because half of the game is just this. Yeah. Just looking at somebody's ass. I know, which, like, I mean... Not terrible. John's not doing too bad. Doing too bad even though sure he's enough. not looking as swish as we left Arthur before he millions. passed. That's true. Most of them Although I will say, tuberculosis is not sexy on anybody. <laughs> That's fair. So he was not looking great toward the end. I really done much of it. Could never, um, I never don't... Really get the hang of it. No. Serious, I do have sure. a Jonathan story. And I specifically <laughs> told him I was going to tell this story. And he didn't understand why at first. But he understood later. So, him and I were out, and we were uh, at, like, checkout. So, like, I took him to Ulta, because I wanted to buy some shit. And then we went back around again to check out, because he needed a face wash. So he grabbed one, and then we were checking out. And as we were finishing that whole situation, um, he had his phone out. And I happened to, like, look away. And, you guys, I've been with him for a little over five years. This was the most concern I've heard in his, enti in his voice in my whole time with him he goes another war and i was like oh my god like are we at war like what's going on <laughs> like i had a mild panic because he sounded genuinely concerned and i got so worried i look over it's a fucking app game and, he, <laughs> and i was like and I, like the checkout lady was like doing something real quick so i like turned away and i just turned at him almost like parent like scolding their child i went you can't just say words they mean things <laughs> And he was like, I don't understand, what's the big deal? I'm like, you can't just out loud say another war and give yeah. nobody context. Words mean things and war mean things. Yeah, I was, like, like, I was like, you can't just say that. <laughs> and like, in the moment, he was like, I don't understand why that's so funny. I don't understand why it's so wild. And then I told him that I had told some classmates and I told it just like this. And he went, oh, <laughs> I realize now what I did. <laughs> Fucking the worst. I know what he said. Absolute worst. Just out of curiosity, what app game was it? Um, oh god, he just told me. Not Clash of Titans. Clash Royale? Maybe. Because if it's that, I gotta, I gotta hit him up. I think it might be that one, I'm not sure. Because I, I said, I told, I told my classmate the story and he asked me the exact same thing and I was like, I think I said Clash of Titans. <laughs> I don't even know if that is a game. I was like, I'm not 100% sure. And he's like, okay, well, we'll talk about it. Because him and... They, they met later that night because we all hung out. And, um, yeah, I don't know. You'll have to text him and ask him because I keep forgetting. Because clearly I'm not that concerned. I have no issue with him playing app games. Like, I don't care. It's just like... I just was like, you can't just say crap like that in public and not expect me to react. Um... Oh, excuse me. Pick up poop. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, it's filthy work, but someone's gonna do it. Yeah. Make Jack do it. Um. Yeah, especially after that comment. You want to get shit on you? Come here, boy. Why are you so fussy, little man? Well, cause he had like. He spent like a good amount of time. Being pampered at uh, a mansion. Remember. You know what? That that's true. He he, did. he was kidnapped, but um, Arthur lit. Uh, oh, rip. John literally just commented on that. He was like, "You're a long way from Angela Bronte's manor now, aren't you?" Oh yeah. <laughs> your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up. I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> go to the house. Yeah. Well, that House is on fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I do appreciate that John seems faster. 
We had t- tuberculosis toward the end. I think we were just struggling. Arthur always was a little bit slower. He's a meteor. Maybe. I actually don't know. Hey. I think Arthur may have been a girthier boy. Probably, yeah. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I uh, know. Not unless he inhales it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Be plenty not of unless harm. he starts eating it or rubbing it in open wounds. Well, you also can inhale the particles. Me, well, yeah. So, what do you, know? you can inhale anything if you're dedicated enough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey guys, don't. Yeah, please don't. Don't inhale poop. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah, see, John looks way better. Yeah. They both look like they've been taking care of themselves. Yeah. They're sca- like It has been like, what, five years? Ten years? Well, like, John just looked, like, simultaneously gray and red earlier on. So, like, he's fa- his, he looked pale. He looked, like, real sweaty, real greasy, and, like, flush at the cheeks all the time. Which, like, you know, if you're running around doing shit, that's how it's gonna be. And, oh, God, his fucking jammies. <laughs> you look stupid, John. Um, and then Abigail just looked kind of, you know, like, disheveled all the time. Is that how you say that? Oh. Yeah, disheveled. Good oh, job. Wow. Did you think it was disheveled for a minute? Uh, no. <laughs> I just was afraid that it'd be one of those times I say it and you go, um, it's actually disheveled. Like, fuck, really? All this time? No it's one like, told me. It's like when I found out that there's an E after the W in awesome. I found that out at 16, you guys. Oh, Bubby. 16 years old. <laughs> Bubby. Who made you this dumb? I don't know. I raised you better than this. Jeebus Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> made me this dumb. Jeebus Christ. Jeebus Christ. He was like, this one, this bubby, has uh, to be a little silly. This away. Or do this, this way. Um. I will say, John kind of runs like an unhinged child. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Hey, but I don't hate it. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Milton. No much I still think it's building. so weird he named himself Milton. Not really. Can't build a Is that yeah. just like always, Can't always the name down. in his mind? He's just so angry. He's always like... What's your name? Milton. I'm like, uh, it's well, I guess it's my name now. Days, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. A little bit of everything. out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> yeah, John, that ain't a great lie. I was raised to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. Ooh, damn, John. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yeah, what? Don't complain. You got labor. Like I'm specifically here to help you. Oh, I just got happy because now you have a fence and your boy can run. That's well, true. There's plenty more to do. I feel like my brain does that these days. Like, I um, we don't want to come down. I don't mean to like bring up academia, but like basically, I learned that I get. I mean, I knew that I get anxious before exams. That's just a thing because, you know, it's an exam. It sucks. But my one of my classmates started doing this really sweet thing where she would just give me gum. Cause she's like, I know that gum kind of calms me down. So I did the same thing. Uh, or rather, she would give it to me, and rather than like going straight into chewing it, I actually would just like kind of take a quick like whiff of it. Not like. You know, not a deep like trying to inhale it as if it were a drug with, but just like a like a sniff kind of thing. Like a little enjoyment with. Yeah, because um, you know, peppermint and that kind of stuff can, in fact, like relax the body a little bit. So I was like, let me just kind of take that real quick. And one time I did it and I smiled because it was the exact same flavor that Marcy gave me like many years ago of gum. Um, and she's actually the reason that I got into like spearmint gum because of that flavor. And I was like. Aw, and so it made me smile, and I did good on that exam. <laughs> so it's just like that. I had that moment right now with the fence where I was like, "Oh, fence! Brother has fence. Little baby boy gets to run it." Well, I, it's Teddy who I'm talking about. I make it sound like Sush has like an actual human. Mr. Child. President. Mr. President gets to run around in his little presidential backyard <laughs> because he has a fence now. That's true, and it makes me smile. Not today, though. It's muddy out. It's been raining a bunch. Yeah. And then just seeing how excited he was to see me was very was very sweet. <laughs> it warmed my heart. 
Uh oh. Please, no one get killed. Come on, son. Hurry, hurry. No one get over here. Coming. I'm Come over here. Know much about bulls, Milton? Not a lot. Just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. This is Milton. Angus is your boss's son. Okay, nice fair enough. You. Okay, so Let's do not try to mess with him. Hunk a chuck. Oh. Hey guys, that was probably a bad idea. Oh god, no. I don't have a rope. Ooh. Man, like I got lucky that. Ah, we just did that. I thought you were about to shoot him. I was like, do not. Yeah, Angus got lucky that this thing's horns didn't actually technically impale him because it's a Rockstar game, so it just kind of glitched through. Why is the... Yeah, Whose you... bright idea was it to slap it on the ass so hard that it remembered God? Fucking Dickens. Dummy Dickens, who's all like, I don't trust you. And I'm like, can you just let me do shit? Alright guys, I think he's just... He belongs to nature. Yeah, now. he's not ours. He belongs to Mother Gaia. Oh god, no. <laughs> John Gray really like, no, no, no! <laughs> That makes me think of the fucking try and catch the was it a, a lion? A circus guy? Can you pet it? Yeah, I was like, just just pet him. He's scared and also hurt. Butt slaps can hurt. Aw, she him so sweet. All better. Okay. Him, on, just giant baby. Chuck, don't. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Yeah, you guys just chatted up. Didn't even Honestly, try to help me. Honestly, nobody thought to help. Yeah. I'm sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. I mean, it works out for us because this is gonna make us look good, but like. Good. There yeah. Is. Don't you know? I didn't let go of L two until John came out of that corral. <laughs> you did not trust. Man, that was, the corralling of that bull was harder than it needed to be. A little bit. Hey. I'll get the coffee home. Fuck you. Thought she was gonna wake me up for I'm some good good. Today myself, Jack. Huh? You stay out of As my wife so gently puts it. <laughs> Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. See you later. I think we're Are just wearing your jammies? The, Yeah, I was gonna say I think we're just wearing our long johns under some suspenders and pants. I get that. Yeah. Sometimes you just wear your, your jammies out. Honestly. I started doing for my like lab days where I had to like do the practice because they make us wear these gym shorts. <laughs> Sorry, I just I love watching John Ron and just be <laughs> imagining like <laughs> <laughs> basically. Um, but I we had to wear these shorts except you know it's winter so it's really cold. But like they were like you're required to keep to wear the shorts and then if we have to check your legs like. You know, the shorts are on. So I couldn't wear, like, yoga pants or anything, like, long. So I would just put on my, like, baggy sleeping sweatpants over in case I needed to take them off quick with my shorts under. Except it ended up being a bad idea because the last two times I did it, I was really sleepy because, again, they were my pajama sweatpants. So it was just sort of, like, my body was like, oh, I am in PJs. I can sleep now. You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Geats is the owner of the place, right? Yeah. Because he does Angus. Huh? I think Gettys. Gettys. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm good. I don't trust. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. Okay. I ain't done too much. 
Yeah, I also don't understand how you're not cold in that, John. Like, you could see your breath earlier this morning. Well, that's the whole thing with long johns. They're supposed to be, like, thermal. That's like, that's probably wool. Like, finely woven wool. True. So, uh, is that what the boss was doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Man, I can already see the problem, horse. Well, I oh, exactly yep. For, uh, business. I see oh. it. <laughs> uh, okay then. All right. You'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. In the finish the normal conversation, John didn't even wait for him to get a foot away to start running like a doofus. Jeremiah, buddy. Hello, baby. Your name is Jeremiah. Whoa, none of that. Hi, Miss Platty. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Onions in their oats. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave the same way as he does for you? Supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Oh. Come on, take him horse and the human horse will burn some of this practically smooching. Okay. I'm waiting to crowd. Tire out, Jeremiah. Okay, that should not be that hard. <laughs> right. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Okay, I'm guessing uh, this way yeah, works out real good. Come on. Cows just supposed Where's to. That big mean horse? I don't know. I, it's, they're not part of this mission, I don't think. Yeah, I guess it's not your problem. <laughs> This horse seems pretty fast. Yes. He about as fast as Potty? I think so. It's probably like third best. Or no, Platinum Empress was the third best horse in the game, right? Yeah. So he's probably like fourth. Uh, he might be second. I don't know. Oh, that's right, because you said the other, the other two were not available until Epilogue. Yeah. So this might be one of them, yeah. Yeah. Because it's looking like they're going to, I mean, not let us, let us keep them, but this sounds like it's about to become our go-to horse. You ain't gonna give us like, no based on the way they're they're talking. Hey, boy. Sorry, my arm was itching. I don't know how much rustling comes through when I move around, but... That's all right. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I mean, like, the truth is, almost everything gets picked up by this mic. Fair enough. <laughs> but... Yeah. Again, as long as it's not any, like, loud right up on the mic. I will not demonstrate like I did last time. <laughs> or last time I said it and then I proceeded to produce the sound and I was like, oh no. Stay calm. Me? Duncan, you nerd. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. There you go. Not that yeah. I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. <laughs> yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. Oh, right. that's nice. Aww. Thank you, sir. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well... Have we dealt with Laramie before or no? Yeah, they, they, were, they were a gang, Laramie boys. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, but, but they were, like, really annoying. 
about the horse. Yeah? Sir. Yes, sir. Man, don't be afraid to pat it once in a while. Yeah, give your horse a little pat. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You miss Camille? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, <laughs> Mom. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was going to open. John just wanted to do parkour. <laughs> yeah. It's his new hobby, you see. After no longer riding with the gang, he had to get his energy out somehow. Does it is hardcore power core. <laughs> so, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? No. Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. Hey, it's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Oh Lord. Whatever you say, ma'am. John's like, this Abigail Abigail better give me some good good tonight. Okay, now hold on. Here we go. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Yoink. Okay, well, I think she's well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. Aww. I hope so. Hey, man, I haven't failed a single Thank task you all have given me. So. Exactly. Oh, and I've done, gone up and over. Feel like when that bull got away and then I got him. Sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Yeah. Of course. She Ooh. wanted to get some of that good good. Oh god. Nasty. Which like if you just watch somebody reach into a horse's pussy, why is that what you would want like right after? No. No. Stop. No. Stop the podcast. Stop the world. Stop everything. The podcast. <laughs> you can't just say that. Pussy. And th I just did. And think Twice. I'm going to not stop you. I mean, do it, coward. Oh, God, you're right. There's nothing I can say because I can't even be like, explain because there's no explanation needed. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it should be pretty clear. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which... By the way, Dickens sees clean through John. us on the run. Yeah, that's fair. This is our chance to make something new. Yeah. Also, wash your hands. For me. Please. <laughs> Honestly. Or hand, whichever one you used. Probably both. I don't know. How's he been? Wipe your forehead, Abigail. Oh, never mind. It's just shadows. Yeah. Been kind of withdrawn. No. Want to ride a horse? Sure. Which his name is Lancelot, which is perfect. No, he, he they call him Lancelot. Jack. Oh, what? The horse. They didn't give us the name for the pony. Oh, I thought that's he was talking about the horse. That's no, no, no. Confused. Come on. He must be happy that his name is Lancelot, though. Come on, it's a cool name. <laughs> he might have chosen for himself. I think so. Got you a pony. Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Oh. Thoroughbred. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. Oh, what, um, what is home, Jack? Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. Maybe that stream. Good idea. Yeah, I'm really confused what your idea of home is, Jack. Like, he can't even say, like, with the gang, because that was, like, years ago. You know. Yeah, honestly. 
And he's like, Jack is like 14 at most right now. He's 12. He's 12. Okay, yeah, so like, there's no way he was any older than 14. So yeah, 12. So like, if it's been five years, he was seven. Well, yeah, I guess for a kid that would be pretty shaping, like, those five years. 